My name is Hunter Lewis. I'm the test kitchen director for Savarin Magazine, and today we're going to do a whole roasted fish. This year for our annual Sever 100, we decided to celebrate the home cook. And one of our favorite recipes from the issue was a whole roasted fish in a bag. And uh, I learned this recipe, or a version of it, from my grandmother, who's my favorite home cook. When I was growing up, we would go down to the beach and catch, catch uh, pompano or whiting, and she would cook it in a brown paper bag. And that was the inspiration for this dish. Uh, we decided to jazz it up a little bit and go uh, a Portuguese route and add linguiça sausage, which gives it a little more of a kick. And we've got some more seafood. We've got clams you're going to cook with it, potatoes and fennel and olives, a little bit of white wine. And it's all going to cook together. And instead of doing it in a bag, we're going to do it in heavy-duty aluminum foil. And it will all cook together and perfume and come out delicious. The first thing we want to do is to score the fish, and that's going to help it cook more evenly. So you just take a sharp boning knife and come down at an angle, and you want to cut all the way to the bone, cut about halfway down. And what this will also do, in addition to helping it cook faster, is we're going to have nice little notches for lemon. I'm going to go on both sides. Do about four notches, about one inch or so apart. Now I've just got some lemons that are cut into half moons. Also got some parsley and some sprigs of thyme. And I want to stuff those in the cavity. And you can do this with a, a two pound red snapper. You could do it with black bass porgy, any kind of whole fish. But have your fishmonger clean it and take out the gills. Uh, make sure you wash it thoroughly. I'm going to season the whole fish with a little salt and pepper. Try to get it in the cavity as well. I want to transfer my fish to a sheet pan that's been lined with heavy-duty aluminum foil. And this aluminum foil is going to replicate the, the bag. And this is a technique learned from my grandmother, but also uh, very similar to the French technique in papillot, uh, where you're cooking fish in parchment. And essentially all you're doing is steaming the fish. Around this fish, I'm going to arrange some ingredients that I've already cooked off. I've got uh, one whole fennel bulb that's been cut into wedges and blanched. I've also got a pound of fingerling potatoes that I've cooked off as well. They're just boiled in water until they're tender. You, use, you can use any kind of potatoes, new potatoes. I like the waxy kind better. They don't break down as much when they're in the oven, say like a russet. And to this, I'm going to add some pitted mixed olives. The best thing about this dish is it's not fancy. No matter how you do it, it's going to come out colorful and delicious. I've got 12 little neck clams here. And these clams are going to open up in the oven, and their juices are going to come out and make for a more flavorful sauce that you pour over the fish. We've got some browned linguiça sausage. You can use kielbasa instead. This is about a pound. I've also taken a little bit of thyme off the stem and chopped it. You're going to sprinkle this over the whole mix. We want to season all of the ingredients with a little more salt and pepper. The last step, a little olive oil. This will help keep the fish moist. And about a half cup of white wine.
and you want the wine to go all over the fish and the vegetables. And all this liquid will marry with the clam juice and the lemon and the juices from the fish and come together. The last step, you want to seal this parchment or aluminum foil into a large packet. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want a good seal so none of that good steam escapes during the cooking. Make sure you have a good seal here. Now I've got an oven at 475 degrees. You want to roast this very hot. You want to create that steam inside. It'll cook the fish quickly. For two pound fish, this is going to take about 35 minutes or so. And um, we're going to go ahead and go into the oven. Okay, so we've been in the oven for about 35 minutes and we're ready to open the fish. And the idea here is that all of this good steam has, uh, has cooked the fish. When you're cutting it open, you want to be careful. Just come on the edge with some kitchen shears. Just start here at the edge. And just watch out for the steam. We're going to cut this open and we're just going to pull the foil back. Smells great. In the last couple steps, a little more olive oil. Want to zest an orange. And then I've saved some fennel fronds from the fennel that we put inside. You just want to strew these over top. So to plate this fish, you want to give everybody a, a nice helping of some sausages and fennel and olives, potatoes. And a clam, and you can see all these good juices underneath. I've got a fish spatula here. You can also use a knife and a fork, but uh, pretty low tech. Doesn't have to be fancy. You just come back here near the backbone, pull it off the bone, and give everybody a nice, nice little piece. and a little bit of juice. There you have it.